everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mayo and I teach creative people how to sell their art online. And today is just going to be a quick little video with Tea Public Wall Art Review. Now, just by looking at the name, Tea Public, you are expecting t shirts, and uh, that's what most people are selling on Tea Public, along with stickers and phone cases and a bunch of other cool stuff style Redbubble. But just as we've seen in my really big video. I did like a full video comparing wall art, print on wall art from various different platforms. It actually surprises me that on Redbubble there was such a good quality. Maybe that's why I'm super excited to finally open this little piece of wall art that I ordered, believe it or not, in the middle of April. This package has arrived to me at, I need to remember, <laughs> It's so complicated. This package has arrived to me in the middle of June. It was, it arrived to the post office on the 3rd of June and it took two weeks to get it to me because there are a lot of problems in the post office in Bulgaria. However, it did take Tea Public a month and a half to ship this to Bulgaria to begin with and that's kind of a bummer. Now, I don't know if you guys know, there was a, a major hack for the post office in Bulgaria, so that could be the reason, even though the hack was after. This was already supposed to arrive. I I, I don't really know how long does it take you guys to get tea public from where you're from, but I, I do think that, you know, probably it's easier to get it from the United States. Now, this little baby here, I actually ordered several wall art pieces. Now I did make this video in the beginning of June going over you know to your shops for print and demand and buying from you guys but that's not the first time I've done that because this order which was made again in the middle of April included one two three four different posters and three of them are not mine. One of them is mine it's the path of the cat, which is a name I gave it on Tee Public, and I don't remember what this design is, but three of those were from Elena Anna, which is my favorite uh, designer online. And so I'm gonna open this, and right before I open this, I just wanna share with you guys one of the reasons why I like Tee Public for wall art. As I said, not a lot of people view Tee Public as a place for wall art, mostly because of the name Tee Public. However, their uploader, the way that you upload files onto Tee Public, can be quite unique if you're designing any type of wall art, especially if the file that you upload onto Tee Public is a PNG with transparent background, because then you can actually choose the background color of your wall art as well as the aspect ratio. You can play around with it. You can make your design smaller or bigger, and I think that it's within these little aspects of the design, these little tweaks, that's when you see the difference between a good graphic designer and a good product designer. And you know what? I'm really excited to finally open this up. So I have here, as I said, four prints. I have here two photo semi-gloss. <laughs> okay, let's just open them. I'm getting confused. Okay, let's get this. Now these are mini prints. These are very small. First of all, because you know, I didn't want to complicate the shipping over here. Second of all, I don't know if you've seen, but my wall is rather full. And third, because I think that with mini prints, some of them I can keep on in my notebooks. You know, we're not always going to live in Bulgaria and Bansko in this apartment. So it was important for me to also order things that are small that I can take with me. And I'm going to start with the smallest thing from Alina Anna, which was Takeaway paper cup of Coffee Love, unframed, hot, press, bright, six by 10 inches. And this is adorable. Oh my God. I love this print so much. I am pretty sure I'm gonna cut it and I'm gonna put it in one of my notebooks. And it's just um, super adorable. And I love it so much. I love everything for Melina, Anna. Okay, next up. Uh, another hot press uh, design that I got from Elena Anna is an 8x10 kawaii dinosaur with caffeine addiction. Oh, that's this one. Hello! I do find it weird that this one came when it's rolled outwards, like the design is out, and this one came rolled inwards. <laughs> it is kind of weird. But it is really cute. I'm gonna have to like put it under some books 
to make sure that it's straight. I don't want to roll it to the other way around because of the hot press, because of the card. This is like card stock material, so I don't want to roll it to the other side. I'm afraid it's going to wrinkle or something, uh, but I do also like my little coffee thing. I think definitely, I don't know if in this apartment, but in the next apartment that I'm going to be having, oh, think, not soon. I'm done moving. I think in the next apartment, I'm definitely going to have some like uh, coffee inspired things in my kitchen. Uh, so this was pretty brilliant. I do have two more posters here. Uh, one of them is mine. It's the Path of the Cat Unframed 10 by 12. It's a bit um, folded in here. Ah, this is Path of a Cat. I completely forgot how I named my designs. And this is a 10 by 12 semi-gloss photo. And it's actually in quite good quality. I really do like it. I think I'm going to use it to wrap something. Maybe like a big notebook or maybe somehow, you know, sort of with my computer or, you know, just use it as a poster. And I also have the last one here, which is a 9x9 nine nine photo semi-gloss cool poodle cartoon dog wearing sunglasses, again from Alina Anna store. And that is severely adorable. <laughs> this is just too adorable. I don't even know what to say. This is just the most adorable thing I've ever seen. And um, I, I really do like this. I like this because I don't know if you can tell, but these these were made by hand. These were not illustrated in a professional software. These are doodles that were turned into a different type of art. And I am loving this style. I might would have put like a catchphrase around it or something because I do, I do know that, you know, for example, here with the coffee zilla next to the dinosaur. However, I do think that this is rather cute. Just need to find a place to put it. So this was a short pop-up review. And I really do hope that if you have this artistic style or, you know, that artistic side of you that really likes making t-shirts, you'll also look into actually putting them on posters as well as art brands because they are extremely adorable and I do love them. I know so many people just focus on t-shirts, but the facts are that Tee Public has a lot more to offer with their wall art segments. By the way, I know that this was not like a Tee Public how-to guide or how to upload things to Tee Public. There was a Tee Public tutorial, a full Tee Public tutorial in this channel. I will leave a link to that one down below so you can go ahead and check it out and see if Tee Public is a platform for you guys. If you like this video and found this content useful, please hit the like button down below because every time you do, it really does help my channel and subscribe to my channel if you are not yet subscribed. But with that being said, that was it for me for today. Thank you, Alina Anna, for constantly making these cool and adorable illustrations. I am truly your biggest fan. And thank you all, all of you at home for watching. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.